synthesis artisans are amazing. They produce such lovely items in such a short time. Yes, it really is an art. The quality is always second to none, too. And the same artisan is always sneaking into the cities we visit just before we get there. What? what? Are you serious? Oh, yeah. I wish I had half the vitality he has. We're nothing compared to how much he gets around. Yeah, right, okay. There's no way he could do that. Really? Do you think it's more likely that the world's full of such skilled artisans? I you too, Judith? Do you really believe that? And he must have great instincts, too. We should see about getting him to join Brave Vesperia. R really C Carol, the next time we meet him, let's see if he'll join. Right! Okay! Whoa. I think those two actually fell for all that. The princess and the kids still have a lot to learn. I hear they're actually using Blastia to do the synthesis. You know, maybe we got a little carried away. I don't think I've ever seen that skip before. Maybe it depends on how many items you've synthesi synthesized. Anyways, I gotta check something out real quick. Alright, uh... I forgot to give Estelle her old costume back. I kinda just, uh... Gave her that one for a little while. Let's ask around first. Yeah, no need to leave quite yet. I actually went around uh, playing as Raven for a little bit. Our village chief is a great man, but the sage is even greater. The sage will drive out any monster that may attack us. Okay, that's kind of odd. Welcome travelers from so far away. Are afraid, I'm afraid our village doesn't have anything particularly special to offer. That's, uh, fine with me, I guess. Hello. The Colosseum, scene of countless bloody battles, is so thrilling. I want to die in that stone circle someday. It's my dream. Wild, isn't it? It's a shame the Colosseum is so far from here. It's not that far, you just have to cross a desert or something to get to it. My father died very suddenly, and I found myself governing the village, but it isn't going well at all. I don't know what I would do without the sage's help. Hmm, I wonder who this sage guy is. And before I go up there, let's just uh, look around a little more. We can go back into the inn. Ah, uh, what's up here? I think this is, yep, a store. Let's go do some store things. There's not much here, but I still got down to only having five god left. What was the deal with that weird monster we ran into in the sands of Kogor? Just the thought of it still sends chills down my spine. Was that thing even alive? Huh? What do you mean? Well, it wasn't anything like other creatures that make their home in the desert. Huh. Another astute observation from Captain Carroll. Whatever it was, I hope we never see it again. Me too. That was a creepy thing. Hello, I'm here to tell you about synthesizing. Today's suggested synthesis sizes. I have a Shiva and I have a burn spreader. Um, Shiva, yeah. Limit trio. That's the other thing I got. Um, anyways, the uh, their weapons, obviously. Shiva lets you learn a couple of interesting arts. Dispersion and Great Deluge. And Burn Spreader helps you learn a couple arts as well. Um, just like Alembic is is an arts-based thing, skill. So, a lot of these are actually some pretty decent uh, synthesized weapons right now. And, uh, synthesizing is useful. You come from across the sea, you must be so tired. Been on a ship for a long time, yes? What? No? Blastia? What's that? You don't know about Blastia? It's kind of like a main thing in this world. You need to learn a little more. This town is currently facing a terrible crisis. The threat of a giant monster attack. Everyone says we can accomplish anything with a sage on our side, but is it alright to believe that? Eh. Thank you so much for saving us. I want to hurry back to see the kids. The kids must be worried. If they didn't, if only they didn't come looking for us. That box. Do you know something about this box? Launchy had it. Where did you get it? 
on a ship called the Atherum, my lovely lady. Have you heard of it? Of course. You know about the Atherum, too? Uh, yes. We happen to come across it on the ocean. Did you see Launchy? And Launchy would be... Oh, Launchy is my love. I'm sorry to suddenly get so personal. Your love. Damn it. Hey, Carol. Your turn. You're hopeless. Um, all that we saw was, uh, the ship itself. Oh, I see. Could I ask your name? Oh, my name is Yuafan. That's the name that was in the diary we found on the Atherum. Do you know about the Clear Seal Crystal? They say it has the power to drive back monsters. The Sage said it was necessary to make a barrier around the town. I is that what's in the box? Yes, we came to deliver this box to you. I, I see. Hey, is that the key? Could I have the box? Seal crystal? Seal crystal? Looks like it. So who's that sage you were talking about earlier? The sage is a great Critian who came to our town from across the desert. A Critian? Well, creating a barrier is basically creating a Blastia. Blastia? Uh... But we can make Blastia with current technology, right? There are people who do. You saw the Blastia at Emid Hill in Kerbakram. But I don't think that sage guy is the one who made those Blastia with messed up formulas. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really understand. But the sage said that the clear CL crystal was needed to create the barrier. So long she set out to look for it. It's been three years since he left. Three years, huh? You must be worried. Wait, this sounds weird. Yeah, the stories don't match up. You'd think she could have miscounted by a thousand years? How old is she anyway? Is that Sage in this town? Where does he live? Oh, yes, he lives in the house farthest into the town. I think it might be faster if we went to talk to the Sage. Yes, maybe so. Um, if you're going there, could you take the Clear Seal Crystal to the Sage for me? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go! Well, that's odd. So after all we went through to cross the desert, we can't meet Pharaoh. And after you've all risked your lives to help me... Maybe it's better that we didn't find him after all. Yeah, if we had to fight him now, we probably wouldn't make it out. Think about it though, Pharaoh can fly. He's free to be pretty much anywhere at any time. Tracking him down will be a tall order unless he's got a lair somewhere in the area. Ugh. No one's saying that meeting him will be impossible. We might get some information if we ask around in the town. You're right. Thank you, both of you. And there's a treasure chest uh, over here in the background that I'd really like to see. Simple tent. Not as interesting as I was looking for. Oh well. If you have a question, you should ask the sage. You can really depend on him. Our current mayor is too young and unreliable. That's what all the old people say. Hey, dog. Oh. Okay. You're a very weird dog. Um. But, yeah, that's kind of odd. What? What does that even mean that, uh. Can I actually go up? Yeah, I didn't think so. There's a little dirt up there. It's like there's a path. What does it mean that. He's only begun three years. It's like some sort of time dilation thing, but... This is a Tales game. They don't have weird things like time. Dots. I don't know you. Good boy, don't talk to strangers. Unlike everybody else in this friggin' game. Yeah. This town's weird. It's in the middle of the desert, but look at all the plants! It sort of reminds me of Mantake. Yeah, but there is something different. Really? There may be more here than meets the eye. Maybe the truth is hidden away. Leave it to Judith to put things into perspective. The better the intuition, the more you see. Hey, I have, I have intuition. intuition. Man take. That sounds boring. I like man take a lot better. 
Excuse me. Huh? Hey, that's... your... You? How have you come to this place? What do you mean, how? We walked. As in, across the desert. I see. And yet, how did you... Hmm? No matter. For what reason have you come? We're a little curious about this. This must have cost you dearly to obtain. Actually, it just sort of landed in her lap. Hmm. That was quite a miracle. You're planning on making a barrier Blastia, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage, but forget about making any Blastia. Who would even consider building a barrier Blastia with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as Apatheia, of which the clear CL crystal is one example. So this is an Apatheia? Also, I am not the sage. Just wanted to point that out. Huh? No such being exists any longer. That's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. Whoa! What are you doing? Hold on a sec! It's the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Mock! Oh, man. Just when I found one. The Apatheia bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Return to air? Is that really all you did just now? It's still no reason to go smashing other people's things. Wasn't the clear seal crystal, the Apatheia, needed to save this town from the monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. This place has been granted everlasting calm. Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? I'd ask you the same thing. You seem to know about him yourself. Please, tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. I see. You know something, don't you? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. You mean... me? This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Hey, that's that thing we heard about back in Nordopolico when she was talking about the Brave Vesperia star. Child of the Full Moon. Like in the legend. By Entelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. But what would the Entelikea have against me? Against a Child of the Full Moon? What is this power the Child of the Full Moon possesses that they despise? That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelikea themselves. Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the Child of the Full Moon. But... Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelikea earlier, didn't he? Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait. There's something I want to ask you, too. What were you doing at that Erkrene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? Those matters exceed your comprehension. Ooh, burn! Do not ask of them again. Go. I have nothing more to say. Where do you get off? Rita. Duke may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm. Maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that Child of the Full Moon he mentioned was the sister of Brave Vesperia, right? 
Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light, you are named Child of the Full Moon. Your brother, Brave Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth, and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there, like, a hidden meaning in there? I'm not sure, but maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean, like, becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals, epithea, all kinds of things. Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, We'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apathea myself. Yeah. Besides, we should make sure we're ready before heading back into the desert. Why don't we head back tomorrow? Rita, think you can tie up your loose ends in a day? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. Huh, <laughs> you're welcome. Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right, see you then.